Hey everyone, I wanted to go over the new and exciting news that we have for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak as a brand new batch of details dropped to us for free title update number two. And in this video, I want to try to disseminate some of that information, but more importantly, go over some brand new details you might have actually missed as the official website has been updated with some details both in English, but more importantly from the Japanese blog as well, giving us more details regarding what to expect going forward with this brand new introduction of Risen Elder Dragons. This is something that Capcom had been kind of touting as powered up monsters in the early roadmaps that we got. We now have a little bit of a better understanding, not just what it means for now and this free title update, but also heading into the future as potentially there will be even tougher challenges ahead in the next two free title updates. But to fully recap the basis of the presentation, all we got was really the confirmation of uh, three brand new monsters, uh, the introduction of layered weapons and now finally coming into the game, the confirmation of even more event quests coming, and of course the introduction of Anomaly 6 star quests. This will be Anomaly Investigations, Master Rank getting raised to 120, which we're going to be talking about in just a bit. But first I want to talk about the introduction of Risen Elder Dragons and the confirmation that this Risen Camellios seems to be the introduction of more things to come according to some of their details. There's two official descriptions for Risen Camellios, one in the Anomaly Investigation sections and then the actual monster description itself. Uh, when it comes to the Anomaly Investigation description of Risen Camellios, it says that they're Elder Dragons that have fully overcome the affliction caused by the Anomaly creating a symbiotic relationships with the Curio. Their, in parentheses, risen state possess an even greater danger when they were still under the influence of the affliction. So what they're trying to say is here is something that we kind of discussed when talking about the potential introduction of Anomaly 6 investigation quests. This is something that we knew based on the data mines. And this, of course, the confirmation also that free title update number three is going to be including seven star investigation quests. This states that basically at some point Elder Dragons ended up also being affected by Curios, but we don't actually get to see that. What we do get to see is the after result. Elder Dragons who overcame and became more powerful using the power of the Curios or the Flying Giggies, if you will. This is pretty much what Malzeno was doing. This is the same Geismagorm effect. Something that they are too powerful of a monster so they can take advantage of what the Curios are actually offering. In the direct monster description, they give us more details as well. It says, Risen Camellios are elder dragons that have found a way to overcome their affliction. By suppressing the Curio virus, they have gained great strength and new abilities. They now boast superior poison and physically sending you into a toxic nightmare if you lose sight of them. Now, this also confirms now something that we kind of had been expecting at the time, but we didn't necessarily know. Uh, Risen Camellios is considered as an ailment monster, a noxious poison. This will be the officially second noxious poison monster available in uh, Sunbreak. The first one was Apex uh, Rathian, which only I believe the tell attacks gave you that specific status. Uh, noxious poison, I believe is a stronger version of basic poison that reduces your health even faster. So I believe this was double ticks of poison. So you were taking a huge chunk of poison when uh, I believe Apex Rathian would hit you with her tail. That big kind of like wind up tail swipe attack, uh, like vertical. So basically when you chopped off the tail, it would no longer be able to do that. It seems like Risen Camellios is going to have most of his poison attacks automatically giving you double poison ticks on top of his brand new series of attacks, which based on some of the images we do get to see, it seems to like a lot of them are just big AOE poison type of attacks. So what this means going forward for free title update number three, most likely it means that we're going to get a lot of people are suggesting of uh, Risen, Kushala Doora, Risen Teostra. I think they're going to give us a little bit of a curveball. And that is the fact that if you look on the roadmap, of course, we see the church in the Citadel. And this is where you essentially fight Malzano for the very first time. So my guess would be that some sort of Risen Malzano or a Malzano such species of some type is mostly what we are going to be expecting going forward. Now, I would also expect them to give us a Risen monster per free title update heading into the future. I don't know if they're going to make it a thing uh, continually heading you know, forward, maybe free title update number four. Maybe if they decide to do the fifth one, like it has been suggested before, maybe they choose to do that. But 
most likely uh, Risen Malzeno would be my highest bet as of right now. Now, of course, the data mines are going to give us more details heading in that into the future. So for now, we can just speculate. But of course, on September 29th, we're going to get to see more. And while the reaction for Risen Camellios has been extremely popular from what I've seen, when it comes to Violet Mitsuzune, the reaction has been a little bit more taken back. People are not necessarily happy the way that they're treating uh, Mitsuzune in general, since Apex Mitsuzune is pretty much Violet Mitsuzune with a different name. Obviously, it looks a little bit different. It's going to have a little bit couple of different abilities, but it seems to be like the same thing. They just repackage Apex Mizu and they basically made it look a little bit different. We do know, of course, that it has the straight up fire element. It has no other elements tied to it. It does have some elements like fire blight and bubble. But other than that, it seems to be just an Apex Mizu. Now, according to the official description on the website, they state that uh, this is a Violet Mitsusune, our Leviathan, known for their beautiful lilac colored fur. They use their fluids to secrete to slide around, targeting their prey with gas filled bubbles. Though they appear graceful creatures, the facade quickly fades as they envelop themselves in pale flames and bathe their surroundings in beautiful but deadly infernos of white hot flame. I did also find it interesting that they decided to showcase it like we were expecting in the infernal springs. This is where you also afford a wave of apex monsters outside originally from the um, rampage when it was actually originally introduced. There was a couple of quests that had apex monsters in the infernal springs so it's interesting that even where apex mizu had originally kind of like fought uh, violet mizu is going to be doing the same thing there as well so you know criticisms are fair when it comes to this one i think now it's always good to have more you know brand new monsters but the way that they decided to introduce this one even though they're just calling it a rare species i'm not necessarily sure people are too happy with it with the way capcom decided to go about it Simply put, it just doesn't differentiate itself too far from what Apex already did. Now, lastly, and probably most likely forgotten, and of course, is the fact that Flaming Espinas will be coming as part of this free title update. I think one of the things that I damped her, any sort of excitement about him is the fact that we got to see the gameplay. This is something that I posted very early on. As in Tokyo Game Show, people were able to schedule in appointments to be able to fight this dude. And all the gameplay that I have seen, people have been just extremely negative because he looks kind of just like normal Espinas. He's very brown, so originally kind of like his original moniker stuck with brown Espinas. But Flaming Espinas, at the end of the day, doesn't necessarily differentiate itself too far from normal Espinas. Yes, he does have powered up um, big flame attacks. He does kind of like walk and struts a little bit slower. He seems to be extremely more powerful as well. This is something that we do get to see in some of the attacks. I believe they even touched upon this in the presentation itself, where they said that he can certainly one shot a hunter, which is, of course, deadly on his own, but it doesn't necessarily seem visually. And again, visuals are a big key factor here. Mizu is a different color, although it's a fire element, so people are not too happy about that, but they can live with it. Risen Camellios color wise looks a little bit different and it certainly stands out. But when it comes to flaming Espinas, a lot of people just brown and green. They just kind of blend it together and they don't really see that much of a difference. So flaming Espinas does get a bad short end of the stick in that regard. White Espinas most likely would have received much more praise than flaming Espinas. Now, the last few things that they did specifically touch upon is the introduction, of course, of afflicted six star investigation quest. This is very good because people had been expecting and I did get a little bit of pushback originally when I spoke about this from the original data mines that we had a decent roster of monsters that we we're expecting to see there. Ultimately, though, it seems like only five will be added, not necessarily a lot of them, which all include Gormagala, Espinas, Besugis, Pyrag, Nagadaki and Rajang. So this confirms some of the things that we kind of already knew. Although the only real changes here from the data mine itself was that Seething Besugis and Furious Rajang we're supposed to be part of six star anomaly quest, but it turns out it was just a base ones, a uh, basal geese and Rajang. So presumably the other two are going to be part of seven star afflicted uh, monsters. But other than that, pretty much everything was right all along. Not a big surprise here. There doesn't necessarily seem to be anything too surprising when it comes to six star monsters. Now we do also expect more apexes to appear as part of this, I believe. Mizutsune and uh, Diablos were number three and number four in the Apex chart. And then I believe Zenogre and Rathalos were number five and number six. So I would presume that um, 
Diablos and Misu are probably going to be appearing in this specific set of six star anomaly investigation quests or just as just extra monsters that you can actually hunt in these quests. But other than that, they're not necessarily going to be having their own quest as of right now. This is something that they could actually hold uh, back and they provide us more details heading into the future. I've seen a lot of people suggest that because they announced just three monsters, they're actually saving one more secret one for post launch. I don't know. I don't think Capcom is ready to do that at this point in time, but we'll just have to wait and see. All in all, though, I think the suggestion of more Arisen Elder Dragons is a very good one. I think that it's an interesting way for them to approach it with the understanding that anomaly investigations and more afflicted monsters are not necessarily taken away from the new addition of new monsters, which is always good. More challenges are always better. And this is going to bleed into one of my future videos where I'm going to be talking about advent quest and the lack of actual challenge there but that's about all the information that i have for you guys today if you are brand new to my channel be sure to leave a like and subscribe hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up and as always thank you so much for watching see ya